Counter-Strike 2. I never thought I would see the day that we would actually get this to come out because for years, I mean, as far back as like 2016, 2017, we had heard about Counter-Strike 2 coming to the Source Engine 2. And now it's officially announced and I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Now, for those of you who have been a part of this channel for a long time, you guys would know back in 2013, 2014, and hell beyond that, I started playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive non-stop i was playing it competitively i was playing it casually i was playing it non-stop because i genuinely enjoyed that game it became my replacement for halo when halo fell off when halo the master chief collection came out and it was a broken mess i moved on to counter-strike and counter-strike became the thing that replaced halo for me and filled that competitive edge and then after a few years it fell off due to rank changes and changes to the tick rate and tons of issues that the community has talked about for years and speaking of community that was another part of it the community kind of fell off at least in the rank scene and i didn't really have friends that wanted to play the game anymore so i kind of dropped off myself but for years we heard about source 2 and the upgrade that was coming to counter-strike global offensive well turns out it's not upgrading counter-strike global offensive it's a whole new game i guess even though from what we can see in these trailers it just looks like they're updating the engine and calling it counter-strike 2. but early this morning we got three trailers that dropped on valve's youtube channel yes valve has a youtube channel they just don't post on it very often for counter-strike 2. responsive smokes leveling up the worlds and moving beyond tick rate and these three things i think were three of the questions that people wanted to know whenever there came any talks of a sequel to counter-strike global offensive and in, from what i can tell valve answered now of course we're gonna have to wait and see and see how this game plays but overall the community seems to be extremely jazzed about this upcoming title this summer now let's go ahead and start off by looking at the map section of the trailers which has three different components to it touchstones upgrades and overhauls and this is probably something that a lot of people were worried about of oh they're just going to replace everything and change things for change sake no they have three different categories based off of what is needed touchstones are maps that have been touched up with the improvements of the source 2 engine but overall have not been changed from their csgo counterpart i think that these are going to be mostly our competitive maps the ones that are usually played and ranked that people are so dedicated and used to and i think that you're going to see the changes in the you know quality of the map and the engine but you aren't going to experience a major change gameplay wise which is very nice for those competitive players upgrades are maps that have more to them when it comes to lighting water and reflections and have been upgraded to take advantage of the source 2 engine so for example nuke the lighting coming through the glass the reflections downstairs and so on and so forth the water in some of these maps has been actually almost looking like it's rtx like water so i'm pretty excited about seeing you know this in counter-strike because let's be honest csgo did not do the best job of sharing these cool environments and then you have overhauls which are exclusive to the oldest maps in the game and have been recreated from the ground up and will show the most changes gameplay wise this is really nice to see that they're not just deleting the old maps and forgetting about them because there are people that are fans of these maps but overall are changing them and improving them to work better with counter-strike 2 so you think that that would be the best possible news whenever it came to maps whenever we heard about cs2 but there's actually more because they are making this all available for creators and map makers to build their own maps yeah they are adding more options for map makers to make their own maps and take advantage of lighting and all of the source 2 engine stuff which is going to make this a more community based game but we have more to go over because not only did they talk about maps they talked about smoke grenades and you're probably saying to yourself well why didn't they talk about all the grenades why just the smokes because overall the smoke grenades are probably the things that got the most overhaul got the most improvement because they work with the environment they work with the design of the map instead of clipping through walls and 
basically clipping through areas that it shouldn't be it works with it so it goes and tightens up in small hallways and then expands on the far ends you can also be blown away by other grenades so if you let's say work with a teammate to throw down a frag grenade it goes off spreads out the smoke you take your op shot and then it reappears that is a pretty cool strategy that i think a lot of people are going to take advantage of you also have shooting through the smoke and it adds a little bit of area where you can see for a quick moment really neat idea hope to see more of this and again want to see how this actually plays and now we move on to tick rate the biggest thing i think that a lot of people were focused on whenever the trailers dropped as soon as they saw that word tick rate they clicked on that video because so many people for years complained about the tick rate of csgo csgo was reliant on tick rate and it was frustrating it was frustrating if the connections weren't in sync it was frustrating when you would take a shot and you know you should have hit and it didn't connect not any longer because now they have upgraded it to this new sub tick rate again we're gonna have to wait and see i want to see it for myself i want to see how it plays but when you shoot you shoot when you move you move when you throw your grenade it's going to land in the exact way that you threw that grenade it is all going to be in sync and i think that that's something that a lot of people have been hoping for a lot of people have been wanting to hear and i'm glad that this was one of the first trailers they popped out because that's going to answer a lot of the competitive needs that the players want to hear about is what about the tick rate because you have no idea how many rage compilations i've seen of someone smashing a mouse or throwing a mouse or smashing a keyboard because they missed a shot because of tick rate and finally finally for all those inventory collectors out there to to all those people that have hundreds of thousands of dollars in your csgo inventory and don't want to let it go yes your skins will be transferable over to cs2 and will get a slight engine upgrade but also keep the same textures look and everything that you had in csgo the same quality the same wear and tear the same perfection whichever it is it will all be transferable over to cs2 so what are my thoughts what are my overall impressions of this and what do i think will i be playing counter-strike 2 well i can say this without a doubt that it feels like this has been a project of half-life 3 proportions because i remember hearing about source 2 coming to csgo since 2016 2017. i've heard every rumor every speculation and even recently when the news started popping up of source 2 csgo i didn't believe it because it'd been talked to death and it's been over seven years almost eight years since the rumors started flying and we're finally getting it am i excited to maybe try something new in cs yeah of course i am i mean i'm still a fan of the series i still watch a tournament here and there but do i think it's going to change the major issues i had with the community and things that really got on my nerves probably not the community is the community and they have their own creative uniqueness to them so we're just gonna have to wait and see but those are just my thoughts what are yours let me know down in the comments section down below if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like on it if you dislike it drop a dislike on it and as always gamer j lee signing out i'm gonna go play some csgo